हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सजाद एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम ऑफ एक्सिपियंट्स हाउ वी क्लासिफाई द एक्सिपियंट्स वी विल लर्न इन डिटेल दिस टेबल इज अ वेरी बेसिक टेबल बट इफ यू लर्न दिस टेबल यू कैन इजीली अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द एक्सिपियंट्स क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम इफ यू हैव नॉट वाइड अ प्रीवियस वीडियो इन व्हिच वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एक्सिपियंट्स इंट्रोडक्शन एक्सिपियंट डेफिनेशन देयर प्रॉपर्टीज एंड देयर फंक्शंस the link of video is given in description first of all watch the first basic video so let's start our video classification of excipients how we classify our excipients for pharmaceutical dosage forms we classify our excipients in three ways first one is the according to route of administration second one is according to origin and third one is according to their function which classification system is best we will discuss later on in this video but first we will start from according to the route of administration as the name indicates in this system we classify our excipients according to the route by which we are giving it to the body the first one is excipients for ost for most accurate we can say that excipients for oral oral route and it will cover both ost oral solid dosage forms and oral liquid dosage forms next one is excipients for parenteral products and third one is excipients for the topical products next one is according to the origin mean we classify our excipients according to the origin from where they are derived here we classify our excipients as marine origin animal origin organic chemicals inorganic chemicals synthetics and semi synthetic chemicals or semi synthetic excipients so first one is the marine origin which excipients are derived from the marine examples are agar and chitosan next one is the animal origin from animal we derive lactose gelatin and bvex the next one is organic chemicals example is sugar and starch next one is inorganic chemicals example is calcium carbonate next one is the synthetic excipients which is pvp and the next one is semi synthetic example is HPMC and HPC mean hydroxy propyl methyl cellulose do not worry we will discuss each in detail the next classification system is according to their functions and it is the most accurate and widely used classification system in pharmaceutical industries here we divide our excipients according to their functions and these are diluents disintegrants binders lubricants glidants colorants flavorants sweeteners preservatives suspending agents emulsifying agent film formers humectants antioxidants isotonic agents chelating agents and many more this classification system is the main classification system which must be remembered by anyone who is working in pharmaceutical industry so we will proceed our playlist according to this classification system in, in next videos we will discuss each sub class in detail mean we will discuss what are the diluents what are the examples of diluents we will discuss each diluent in detail in the same manner we will discuss from top to the bottom about disintegrants binders their roles their concentrations their examples their incompatibilities everyone will be discussed in this playlist so if you have no subscribe my channel first of all press the subscribe button and if you have any confusion you can ask in the comment box and also visit my website farmandform.com till the next video allah hafiz